of a while Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Wouldn't be Christmas, would it, without the darts? The perfect way to spend your festive season with us. Confirmation was Sam so far. Michael Van Gerwen is heading home to Holland, beaten by Mencio Sulevich. Preston Ridd, New Zealand, six-time New Zealand champion. A 4-0 victory over Michael Mansell. Up next, really tasty encounter. Terry Jenkins, 2007 quarter-finalist here against Joe Cullen, hot shot from Bradford. Then, former world champion, Yella Klassen against the impressive Steve Brown. And Vincent van der Voort will round off the night against the New Zealand champion, Preston Ridd. Hundred and four checkout to wrap up the victory. Impressive style, impressive celebrations. And we'll see him later after that 4-0 victory over Michael Mansell. Just a quick check on how this section of the draw is uh, set at the moment. Wayne Jones will play the winner of the uh, Vincent van der Boer Press and Ridd game. Simon Whitlock and Dennis Ovens also in that section. Qualifiers are playing really well, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, that press from Reed, I mean, when I was watching his throw, he reminded me of John Lowe. You know, yeah. Throws a John Lowe dart, comes right in here, good release. And he played steady, but uh, Mansell didn't look like he was going to hit anything. You know, he'd, he certainly weren't the same player as I see in Ireland, you know, a couple of months ago. And, uh, you know, Reed didn't, totally deserved it. Terry Jenkins up next. Forever, we see we talk about him, but finally, seven, seven times. Yeah. Never manages to win that first major. He could challenge, though, in the next few days. Well, he? he's starting to play a lot better than he was. He's had a, a as far as I'm concerned. Because you questioned his attitude, oh, didn't yeah, you, for a no while? Oh, yeah, no question. And I think if he sat down and looked in the mirror, he probably said he would say I was right. Because a lot of other players were saying it as well. They go on the road too much, they get tired, and they lose their tournament form. Uh, but apparently, you know, the last couple of months, he's really started to play well. He only lost 11-10 to Phil Taylor and Tour Players Championship, mm -hmm. or was it in Germany? One of the two. So, you know, you're going to take Phil Taylor that sort of distance and you've got to be confident in your game. So, it's a tough game for young Joe Cullen. He's just getting used to playing the big stage and Terry's very experienced. Well, Joe Cullen's been out and about in a uh, rather festive Muswell Hill with our man Rod Studd. Have yourself a merry little Christmas Let your heart be light Joe, thanks for joining us in Muswell Hill. Always good to relax doing a bit of uh, Christmas shopping before a big darts match. Um, now, look, you, you're the youngest guy in the tournament, uh, just 21. How are you enjoying the whole World Championship experience so far? Yeah, it's a bit surreal, to be honest. Like I say, it's, it's not as big as what I thought it'd be when I first come down, but just can't wait to get on stage now. Really excited, nervous as well, really nervous. I know you've had a little look around the venue, Joe, had a look inside. While it's been empty, it would be different tonight when it's packed, obviously, but what was your first impression of the Alexandra Palace? Yeah, it's really, really nice venue. You know, now I, I see why everyone aspires to get to World Championship now. It's, you know, that's the place to be. There's no one it's better to beat than Phil Taylor, and not many people beat Phil Taylor on any stage anywhere in the world. Now, you've beaten him this year. Uh, Kalani it was, wasn't it, yeah, with the yeah. Players' Championship. Just tell us a little bit about that and, and what that experience was like, beating the power. Like I say, when you first start playing darts, that's how you want to beat Phil Taylor. It just... It really weird. I want nervous all game and then... At the end, when I knew I had three darts to beat him, all of a sudden, you know, your hands start shaking and you get a bit nervous, but it didn't really count for much because I lost the next round to Colin Osborne, but, you know, it felt really nice beating him. I know you used to be a postman, didn't you, which you, you've given up your job now to be a full-time darts player. So I'm guessing uh, this time a couple of years ago, you were delivering the, the Christmas mail and the Christmas cards, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, a bit hectic getting... Um, used to do all right over Christmas, though. So used to get, you know, 
little tips off of people I deliver to, little old ladies, uh, quite a 